No, I've, I've always loved these gazing eyes of, of Buddha. And they're very stylized. You know, this, is, this isn't my invention of, of how Buddha's eyes are. This, this is strictly traditional from, from the Tibetan tradition of tanka painting. So the, the, the proportion of these is based on this, this, this grid and even the gap between the eyes, eyes there. And, and where this uh, minsam, this, this uh, bindu dot here is placed. Uh, it, it, it's all a, a sacred geometry and harmony. Um, <clears throat> all the all-seeing eyes of, um, of Buddha. Buddha is, is the completely awakened one. That's what Buddha means. Sanje, Sanje in, in Tibetan, it's written here, Sanje just means uh, awake and, and open, liberated. So there's, it should have a, a feeling of, of this um, um, insightful gaze, but at the same time compassionate, because a, a Buddha is, is, is the, you know, the embodiment of loving kindness. Now, traditionally, the, the iris there, the, the eye, is in blue color for, for a Buddha. I've used, I've used gold because, from an artist's point of view, I, you know, I want to keep a palette of, of just the, the black ink and these gold letters that have been pulled out. I love the reflective nature, and there's, there's something sacred about gold as well. It's not, just, it's not just expensive. It has this warm glow of, you know, the, the divine, you know, so it represents that. The, this is in silver at the very top there. Uh, white, it's usually white in color. What, what this represents is one of the, the signs of a Buddha it has this, this white hair between uh, these points, which is incredibly long. If you pull it, it would be incredibly long, but let it go, it goes into this tight curl, spiralingly clockwise. So below here, then I've, I've put some, some calligraphy. At the very bottom, there's this one long line here that, that really is, is a homage Chaksalo, it, it um, ends here. Chaksalo, chak means honorary for hand, salo. So it's to, it's to namo or to, to bow down to, to hold the hands in prayers. So it's, it's, it's the uh, a homage or to bow down to. Um, here we've got Sonji Shakya Tupa. So Chakya Tupa, of course, is the, the name of. of um, the historic Buddha, as we know, Sakimuni Buddha, Shakitupa, Sonji Shakitupa. So this this particular style of, of um, Tibetan script, I have revived. I've studied one which dates back from the 14th century in central Tibet. Um, I, I like to do this. It's a very interesting thing to do to to take um, an ancient script, in particular. Um, of the of the same calligrapher, when you when I explore it, when I um, mimic it, and and to you know really understand it, and to analyze the alphabet and how this particular calligrapher formed the letters, you really start to get a sense, a feel of that person. Because I'm a calligrapher, then I know how things are, are formed, you know, and I have a particular habit of way of doing things. So when you study somebody else's hand. Their hand, of course, is a manifestation of themselves. So you, you, you get this idea, this sense of the person. And for me, this person at this time, back in the Yuan dynasty of the, the 14th century, he had more freedom. You know, there's more freedom, there's more time, there's more ease. It's quite a relaxed um, script style. It's less rigid and formal of other script styles of Tibetan that, that came along 
later, such as Tsuk Ring, this very long pulled um, script style. So that's really nice to, to, to connect to the past in that way. Um, but I've, I've, for artistic sense as well, I've added um, or I've, I've changed the, from the Ume script here um, to this Uchen script and then gilded the letters as the same gold here. And these are the key words of this, these two lines here. So what we're saying here is Senchen Tanchi Tapar, so the um, all sentient beings, you know. Um, for always, we have chapsu chi or to take refuge in the Lama. Lama. And to take refuge in the Buddha, Sanje. Sanje la chapsu chi. Then the Dharma, Chu. Chu is the Dharma, Chu la chapsu chi. And then the enlightened Sangha. Gendun in Tibetan, Gendun la chapsu chiu. So really, this is this is a, a homage and an honor to the to the Lama, the Buddha, the Dharma, and the, the Sangha, and then an elaboration in the name, uh, the title, the name, the the you know uh, of Sakyamuni Buddha that is is um, supported here or reflected in, in these eyes, these tradi traditional eyes, these ever-seeing eyes of Sakyamuni Buddha, Lord Buddha. Ever-seeing means seeing of the three times and in the ten directions. The three times, of course, as we all know, is the past, the present and future. And the ten directions are, do you know the ten directions? Ten directions are the four cardinal points, the in-between cardinal points, eight, nine, Ten. In other words, they see everywhere. Everywhere. So that's what that piece represents. <laughs>